Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Prioxis and I'm back with another video, man. And in this one here, I'm going to be teaching you guys out there how to use Marlon Cheeto Vera, all right? Now, with that being said, though, I do want to talk about his fight a little bit. He was a cold-blooded killer out there versus Dominic Cruz. He did his thing. Um, nothing but respect to him. Obviously, I, I, you know, I don't like the finish, but again, it is what it is. It's the fight game, man. But, again, that's not why you guys clicked on this video. Some of you guys clicked on the throw it in my face and it is what it is but let's go ahead and get started man how to use marlin cheeto vera all right so here we go so we're gonna go ahead and start off with his um perks i'm sorry we're gonna go ahead and start off with his perks and he has frontal assault he has razor wire recharger and bulldog feel free to read each and every one of those individually if you feel all right so now we go over to his stand up and what stands out is mainly like the kick speed the kick power he has good head movement good accuracy good blocking but you see the punch power is one of the most essential things you want to pay attention to and i say this because i've used him enough to know that you cannot go out there and try to play like yan play like aldo play like tj with marlon cheeto vera because he doesn't have the power to run with those guys you have to be smart you have to be calculated with marlon cheeto vera when you're striking now, let's go over to his grappling. You do see his grappling sets are not that great, but he does have good submission defense. His submissions is a 90. It's mad. Ground strike at 92. Clinch strike at 94. And clinch control is at 89. By the way, guys, if you don't want to watch this where I talk about the actual stats and all of that, feel free to skip through and jump right into the fights, all right? But again, this is a breakdown of how to actually use him in ranked and not be a bum, all right? So, let's go over to the health stats. You do see he has a 96 chin. The body is 90. The legs is 93. Recovery 95. And then the cardio is 91. And honestly, the cardio definitely should be a bit higher. But I ain't in charge of that, ain't I? And then his top moves is his lead hook kick, his lead hook, his lead side kick to the body, his rear hook, and then his roundhouse up top. Right? So, those are going to be his top moves, guys. Mainly Cheeto Veras, you know, kind of boxing, kickboxing heavy. So, that's probably what we're going to be focusing on and using our lead hook i mean the lead sidekick even though it's four star it doesn't do much damage so it's not nothing crazy um and then the lead hook kick you know those don't do as much damage as you would think you know, like ko damage like spinning heel kick damage so i wouldn't risk throwing them but again if you would like to because they're high level strikes you can throw them but just keep in mind just because there's a high level strike doesn't mean you have to throw it okay now, with that being said, I'm going to jump into some rank matches, guys, and show you how to use Marlon Cheeto Vera. Let's get started. All right, so here we go. We're going against the Division 18. Um, we almost have a thousand more points than him. But he is using Rob Font, which is predominantly a boxer. And uh, Rob Font doesn't have the best footwork, but Rob Font definitely has some killer hands. But we have 93 blocking, so that's what we want to lean on. All right, so here we go. Fight starts off. He immediately starts being aggressive, right? Okay. We know Rob Font in real life, this fight turned into a, you know, Marlon Cheeto Vera just taking over this fight, still in rounds at the end, and I'm just being calculated. Now, he threw double hooks to my body, and remember, we have a really good lead hook, so that's something we can utilize, have a good hook kicks, but when you're going against someone so aggressive, you want to be careful throwing kicks. You see how I threw him at this range where I threw it at? I threw it as he's entering the pocket, right? we go we evade that we don't just say i like to throw the double hooks to the body okay there we go we have a really good rear hook it's only a level three so keep that in mind again as i said before when you're using cheeto vera you can't don't look to go out there and run with these guys if you look to trade you're going to you know get a lot of damage done on you and on top of that your opponent's going to be able to, uh, you know, be fine with doing the damage to you because you don't have no power, man. And the damage that you do to them isn't really significant. So I'm not going to be looking to trade too much. I push him back. Push him back with the sidekick. Real hook. It's a good strike. Lead hook. And you can see right off the bat, this dude is hella aggressive, right? And he's also been throwing the body, the double hooks to the body. So that's why I'm just throwing those simple uppercuts. As you can see, he's landing some good work to the body. Okay. Nice. Push him back. Push him back. 
One of the worst things you can do with Marlon Cheeto Bear, I'm telling you this right now, after using Kim a significant amount, is trading with him. I'm not trading with this guy. I'm not looking to do that type of engagement. I'm just either, you know, trying to interrupt him or trying to go first. Push him back. I want to work the body because, again, when you're playing someone that is a very aggressive, you want to work the body and just take the stamina away from them. There you go. You ain't a mistake there. We drop him. Let's do a high kick. We drop him again. And I'm going to explain this finish uh, as I get the finish here. So... This guy's used to me attacking his body with the roundhouses. So I went up top, and then he probably thought, oh, okay, this time he's going to go to the body since he went up top. Nope. I doubled up to the head and dropped him again, and we got the finish. Simple yet effective. Now, again, these things that I'm doing, guys, if you really pay attention, there's some people out there that are going to watch this and be like, and go play ranked and then and be like, bro, this just this doesn't work. This you have to implement these things. This is not going to take one game. You're not going to be watch this one video, go out there and get it done first match. It doesn't work like that, man. You know, it takes practice. And Marlon Chido Vera is a problem. But again, he does have problems with getting people up out of there if they are smart. But we got this done fairly easily. And uh, we're going to be moving on to the next fight, man. All right. How to use Cheeto Vera. Hope you guys are enjoying. Be sure to hit the like button if so. Let's move on to the next match. All right, guys. Here we go. We have a, you know, a higher ranked opponent this time. He's using, who was that? Corey uh, Sandman, Sanhagen. So this is definitely going to be a kickboxing type of match. Now, the thing that Corey Sanhagen has that Cheeto Vera is going to have a problem with is that footwork. So I want to try to get this dude to you know trade in the pocket so i'm gonna be more aggressive with my distance but i'm not going to be you know allow him to land strikes for free because i'm just walking into him so there we go we evade that nice and the thing about Corey sanhagen versus rob font you know Corey sanhagen does his hands aren't as good and that's why i don't really throw the hook kick right there it has a like, while it's, you know, a high-level strike, the problem is it, um, look at it, bro. You see how it just whiffed for no reason? So, I don't really think it's worth it to throw. Okay. Just to continue being aggressive. You can see my lead roundhouse to the body is, like, it's, like, key. Now... Something else I need to be utilizing is his clinch striking because he has really good clinch striking. I won't clinch spam. But if I feel, you know, it's there, I'll definitely do it. There we go. Nice. And I can notice right off the bat this guy, you know, is probably going to have a bit of a problem with inside fighting. We push him back here. But notice, even here, I'm not looking to trade. You don't trade with Cheeto. I'm telling you right now. Cheeto doesn't really trade like that in real life either, though. You know, he picks his shots, plays calculated. He's not a guy that's going to sit in the pocket with you and trade. So that's what you shouldn't do in the game as well. Mm, I didn't try to throw that. I wanted to faint that one. We push him back. Cheeto also has some really good low kicks. So we can look to utilize those if needed. But right now, because he's giving me the body health, I'm okay with taking that away from him. There we go. There goes the body. Up top, up top, back to the body. Up top, back to the body. See how I'm doing these things that are so simple yet so effective? Okay. And right now, I'm just hella clean with Marlon Cheeto Bear. I'm hella clean right now. But I'm not doing anything. I don't feel as, as if I'm doing anything special that you guys couldn't do. That's what I like to get out to you guys. Notice how I like to move my head side to side. If you copy what I do, you'll become a better player instantly. And then a lot of the things that I do, I explain why I do it. So you could understand why exactly I do it. And then you do the same thing, bro. We blocked that. That was a nice front kick as I tried to throw the jab to the body. We're going to recover our head health. 
We have a really good lead hook, rear hook as well. It's only level three, but it's one of his top moves, apparently. And I'm genuinely surprised that his front kick isn't higher. I'm not, not going to lie. His front kick, the one he landed on uh, Frankie Yeager, surprised he doesn't have a high front kick. I'm pretty sure his low kicks are decent, but they weren't in his top moves. So I assume maybe they're not all that great. But it is what it is. Here we go. Round two. That was a nice combination. There we go. High kick. Fake that. Okay. I know a lot of you guys are like, bro, I can't do what you're doing. But you can. You can. I promise you can, bro. Maybe I'm a little bit clean with it. But a lot of these things, man, you don't need to do to beat a lot of people. Like how I be moving my head like this. I just, when I feel like they're going to throw something, I move your head like this and block. You know, just flick your uh, right stick. Move your head this way. Move your head that way. You know. So you hook. Hook kick. He blocks it. I'm trying to utilize these kicks, but you can see when I try to implement them, it, you know, it's not as easy and it's not really worth it. Okay. Okay. Back to kickboxing. And another thing I like to do is when I have people set up, I like to go to their body and you feel like, okay, this guy's probably going to try to throw an uppercut. That's when you set them up and you go to the body, you fake, and you move your head and then counter. Okay. Nice uppercut. We're going to wait a second. Didn't throw the roundhouse, but he blocks it. Okay. That's one of my favorite hand moving patterns, guys, is I slip towards my opponent's lead hand, and then I'll basically roll under. So I'll slip, duck into rolling over. So slip, duck, roll over. One of my favorite uh, hand moving um, combinations. Or head moving pattern, whichever one you want to call it. There we go. Nice. We're going to kick him back. Hook kick him. Go to the body. Throw the hook. See right there? I'm trying, y'all. I'm really trying. While I'm trying to be educate you guys, I'm trying to entertain you as well. With some uh, high level, well not high level, but you know the crazy strikes. Oh, they're rocking. There we go. Kick the body. And then we rock him with a flying knee. Let's go. Good round, that was good work. That was definitely good work in both rounds. Okay. Here we go. What is this, round three now? Our head health is not the best, but our cardio is good. Our body health is good. Block is fine. Okay. To the body. Oh, nice. Nice. Didn't really do too much with it. Okay. And again, you don't want to trade. That's something I want to get through to you guys is mine. Don't trade. Do not trade. Nice hook. Almost caught him. That's the footwork of Corey Sanhagen. That's why I was talking about it. If that was somebody else with lower footwork, he wouldn't have been able to, uh, you know, get away. Go to the body. Back to the body. Catch with the hook, lead hook, then go to the body. And notice how I'm not really throwing the rear hand, I mean the rear roundhouse. Because I'm looking, it's going to be hard because that strike is so much slower. And again, the footwork by Corey Sanhagen is going to give us problems. We would really have to, like, a situation where he's in close, retreating, 
And, um, you know, obviously not going to throw anything. It's going to be hard to... Like that right there. He doesn't have much space to room. to uh, Much space to move. But right here in the open, I'm not going to throw it because he can just walk backwards. Okay. Okay. Nice. Push him back. You can see he's kind of playing more so the kickboxing game with me. And that's okay. So now we can, if we wanted to, we can look to utilize low kicks. If we want to, you know, play less risky with the roundhouses to the body. Again, we're winning this fight right now. So we can definitely look to kick his legs now. If he wants to play the, you know, the really outside game, we can boom. Kick the legs. But always be careful when you're kicking your opponent's leg because they can throw strikes when you're kicking the leg. Okay. Back him up towards the cage. Nice check. Are we going to retreat? And as you can see here, this is what I'm talking about. This is a prime example of what I'm talking about. See how he's basically like, I'm, I feel like I'm dominating this guy. As far as offensively, he's landed, you know, his stuff. But Cheeto doesn't have that, that killer power. Now, he is gassed out now as we about to go into the fourth round. But you see, Cheeto doesn't have that killer power, bro. He doesn't. So you got to play calculate. Otherwise, opponents will catch up. And this is Corey Sanhagen. Imagine what, you know, an Aljo, I mean, an Aldo or a Jan would do. See if we can try to get a hook kick KO though. Nice. You can see he's already ready for the body shots. So maybe we could throw it after he throws something. I didn't want to throw the. <laughs> yeah, we expect the uppercuts, man. We're already looking for them. We already looking for the uppercuts after we go to the body. We drop him with the jab because again he doesn't even want to block low. Okay. There we go. We get the hook kick. That's it. GG's. That's it. GG's, man. That is it, GG's. I, for, I kind of forced it, but we still got it, and it was nice. Into the drop, into the flash KO. I can't complain about that one right there. I cannot complain about that one right there, man. Marlon Cheeto Vera. Marlon Cheeto Vera. Now, I want to do one more. Hopefully, I can go against somebody using, you know, Jan. To show you how difficult it is fighting someone like Jan, but... We shall see. But all right, guys, we're going to move on to the next fight. And if you are enjoying this or you're learning a thing or two, man, it means a lot if you guys hit the like button for me. All right, let's get it. All right, here we go. Oh, man, we're up on this person 4 0. While it isn't, you know, Yan, it is a. <laughs> oh, boy, Sugar Shine on Mally. This is going to be interesting. Definitely going to be interesting. Now, we do know the weaknesses of Shine O'Malley's his legs. So I think we'll be looking to attack those. Let's see what this guy does, though. You can see right off the bat, he's playing a bit calculated. So let's move less. And let's see what he's going to throw when, you know, when I'm a sitting still target. Okay. We kick the leg. Ooh, nice high kick. It didn't land. We're going to circle out here. I want to look to attack his legs. You know, show him that I'm going to be attacking his legs early. That's three low kicks. Nice. Let's circle out now that he gives us the opportunity. One, two. All right, let's sit still. We don't want to back up to the cage for free. You never want to give your opponent that much, that much you know, space to just back you up for free. Like, what did he do to back me up to the cage? Ask yourself that. 
When you answer that question, you realize why you, you need to stop backing up so much. Kick the leg. You know, you can back up to get you some space, but don't, like, don't back up for free. Like, Sean O'Malley did nothing for me to be back here, and now he can be super aggressive. He can land stuff like that. Think about that. We're killing this guy, Legs. Okay. I'm gonna jab circle out. We get back to the center. Try to catch on the hook kick. <laughs> oh man. Nice low kick. Okay. I could try that rear hook, but I think the lead hook would be better. The lead hook is a level four strike, by the way, guys. Okay. Oh my goodness. I did not expect. I thought that was going to the body. Okay. Slow it down a little bit. I feel like I'm missing. Nice roundhouses by Sean O'Malley. We're kicking the hell out of his legs, though. Okay. See what I mean? We could have backed all the way up to the cage for no reason. In that situation right there. One, two. Low kick. He knocks me down. Now somebody's going to be wondering how do you do that exactly right there. So basically, on your right stick. Well, my, my control is kind of freaking out because my green screen. But you flick down. You see this? When you get knocked down, just hold this down on the right stick. If it doesn't do it instantly, let it go and then hold down on it again. And that's how you do that, where you'll fall down instead of where you fall down and kind of get back up immediately. Then your opponent grabs, you get two knees for free. Again, it's on the right stick, so you just want to hold it down or flick. Well, not flick it, but hold it down. And if it doesn't work, hold it down again. Come here. Like right there, now I get these two knees for free because he didn't do that. And then this punch. And now I'm going to get some low kicks because he's going to be thinking about his head. That's two. He checks that one. Okay. I kick, I mean, uppercut. There we go. He was able to get the hook kick in right there. Nice roundhouse. Go. Oh, damn. I tried to do it. It didn't work. I tried to do it. Okay. Again, now we're near the cage. We need to look. We need to figure out our exit, right? We can exit by just straight up walking and he'll follow us. Or we can exit after he throws, right? After he throws that. Now we can jab out and then circle to the center. We took a little damage, but it's better than, you know, the possible damage we would have took by sitting on that cage. go combination right there still kicking the legs nice uppercut we we'll check the kick <laughs> I don't know why he switched dances to that leg gonna throw a high kick he blocks it I'm trying y'all I'm trying to throw that damn thing Nice. We're going to kick the other leg as well. We're going to sit here. You know, figure out what is he trying to do. Instead of giving him, you know, so much range to land stuff for free. And you can see a lot of guys won't even know what to do when you sit still. Because they're so used to just backing up. So you sit there, you watch him, you know, figure out, instead of giving him so much leeway, so much space to do stuff, so much respect, sit there and really figure out what your opponent is trying to do. Low kick. I'm not saying be there a standing target every time. Come here. Nice check. Mm. Score that takedown, Foley man. 
There we go. Watch this. So right there, I started getting up. So basically, as your fighter is starting to get up, you want to hold it down then. And you can see he's already respecting the low kick. The yeah, the low kicks. So after a sequence, I'll be able to throw a high kick and possibly catch him. That was a good round. All right, here we go. Let's check the stats. We haven't done that this fight. So this round here, it was very close. We got two knockdowns. Um, and then this round, it was very close as well. But he landed 20 significant strikes to my... Oh, well, he landed 28 to my... I'm sorry, 20 significant strikes to my five. So uh, that definitely was this round. But honestly, his legs are getting chopped up. You know, we've not, we're have we pretty sure his head health is getting chopped up as well. So we're definitely doing work in this fight right here. Throw the lead hook. It's a high level strike from Cheeto. Mm. Who I would have caught him with that high kick too. Okay. Now again, we're close to the cage. So I need to, you know, get out. So I'm gonna sit here, focus on what he's doing, back up a little bit. Alright, he threw a strike. Let's circle out. Let's circle out. We do a combination. We're going to block, circle out, kick the leg. You can see see how more aggressive he is. How much more aggressive he is. We're going to use that against him. We're going to use that against him. There we go. We drop him. Okay. There we go. Hmm. There we go. We circle out. We stop right there for the high kick, though. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for me now. But notice how aggressive he is. Okay. okay. Cool. You want to be more aggressive? Cheeto Bear has very good clinch striking. Utilize your clinch striking. We drop. Now we're going to circle out to the center of the cage. Jab cross. Roundhouse to the body. I mean, to the... Low kick, boom, he does a mistake. Kick the leg. And we're gonna sit here. What is he trying to do? We're gonna clinch him, turn it here, turn him towards the cage. Okay. Nice check. Throw a high kick, and then another one. I tried to throw another one. We rock him here. Ooh. Kick the leg. You can see here I'm kind of gassing out. And that's what I'm saying. Cheeto Vera definitely should have better cardio. But throwing low kicks really kills your stamina. I will say that. Kick the leg. All right, so we're probably going to be able to end this with a high kick. Boom! Body, body, body. Kick the leg. Look at my stamina. Look at my stamina, man. I'm telling you, kicking legs kills your stamina. It really does. It really does. But, hey. We definitely did work in that round as well. We threw 100 strikes, so. It was warranted for us to get tired, but I mean, we're round four. Look at our stamina. It isn't bad. It was a good recovery. Okay. He was going to check that kick, too. I wonder if Cheeto, I doubt he does, has a question mark kick. That would be perfect. Nope. He doesn't have with that. Nope. Doesn't have with that leg. If he did, it would get this guy thinking about. His, um, you know, think of the, you know how the question mark kick starts low and then go turns up high. Of course. <laughs> there we go. 
Okay. I want to end it with that. But I don't think we're going to be able to. Here we go. Rock the leg. Kick the leg again. Nice. Now I'm trading here because I know he doesn't have the head health to be doing this. He doesn't have the cardio either. But again, early, Sean O'Malley, early on within the fight. Oh, no, you definitely got to respect his hands. Go to the top. Kick the leg. All right, hopefully we can yeah! see see why I don't throw it, y'all. We still got a lead hook and a rear hook. There we go. Come here. Oh, my goodness gracious. All right. All right. <laughs> Give me the leg. Give me the leg. Shigashan O'Malley. Give me the leg. Give me the leg. Uh-huh. I knew he was going to block that one. There we go. Now it's turned into a how-to into some entertainment. There we go. Let's go ahead and get Sean O'Malley up out of here before he gets a fluke win. Me trying to end him with low kicks is going to give me a fluke. I'm gonna make me lose. Good night. Hey, that was the real hook. It was in his top moves, man. We got him up out of there. For, for sure, respect GG's. For sure, respect GG's, man. Now, I know this is a bit of a longer video, um, but I mean, I feel like all three fights you could have learned something in, and if you did, that's good. If you didn't, well, I don't know what to tell you, honestly. Honestly, I don't know what to tell you because if you watch my videos, man, you can you can learn a thing or two from most of my fights that I am in. Whether that's a win or a loss, you can learn something from. But all in all, good fight. GG's to my opponent. Um, I do, again, hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed this one here and learned something as well. I'm going to get up out of here. This video is a bit long. I am sorry for that. But a lot of you guys be liking the longer videos. But some of you don't but it is what it is man we have a mixture of both i'm gonna get up out of here man i'm done talking y'all have a good rest of your day now the evening wherever you may be in the world stay up stay blessed and don't forget to keep moving forward love you guys man see you